Hello, I'm Jimmy. I'm one of the veterinary advisors here at Siva Animal Health and today we're going to be discussing the Duxo S3 skincare range. Thank you to the Webinar Vet YouTube channel for supporting this video uh, and for the best veterinary tips uh, remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be notified when uh, the next video is posted. By the way, check out the code in the description for 50% off your first webinar at Webinar Vet. So with such a vast array of dermatopicals on the market, it can be really hard to choose which products are safe and effective. There are currently no regulations on the development process of dermatopicals for animals with no set testing uh, guidelines or ingredient guidelines. Duxo S3 has been through a similar process that human products have to go through to ensure its efficacy and safety profile, which makes it really stand out as a superior product uh, in what is a largely unregulated market. So the development of Duxo S3 started with extensive market research where pet owners and vets were asked what they wanted from their dermatopicals. For pet owners, it was really important that the products were well tolerated by themselves as they're the ones applying the product, but also by their pets. They also wanted no controversial ingredients in the products. They also wanted proven performance uh, from these dermatopicals and uh, Duxo S3 was developed in conjunction with VETS to ensure the efficacy of the product on the three skin barriers, the mechanical, the microbiological and the immunological. And these tests provided the criteria for the search of the active ingredient in Duxo S3. So with the market research done and the criteria identified, they could get on with the selection process uh, for the active ingredient. This started off as a literature search where over 250 ingredients were identified. This was then whittled down to 50 potential ingredients that went through an in-depth research and development phase um, before finally fi finding two high-performing ingredients that were tested on both human and uh, canine skin models. Following these tests, a fitrium came out on top with the most beneficial effects on the three skin barriers. So just a quick reminder of the three skin barriers. There's the microbiological skin barrier, which is uh, the organisms living on the skin and keeping it healthy. There's the mechanical skin barrier, which is a, a bricks and mortar like structure made up of cornea sites acting as, uh, as the bricks surrounded by lipids um, acting as the mortar. Then we've got the immunological skin barrier, which is the immune cells that react if the skin is damaged. These three skin barriers work in harmony to keep the skin healthy. So why is maintaining a healthy skin barrier so important? So here you can see uh, in the image uh, on the left, there's a healthy skin barrier. And in uh, that particular image, you can see there's a bricks and mortar structure that is tightly regulated. On the right, we've got a damaged image of a, of a skin barrier and you can see that bricks and mortar structure is starting to break down and that means the uh, allergens and irritants can penetrate further and also increases the amount of water being lost from the skin and this predisposes the skin to become itchy and irritated and inflamed and may even lead to bacterial or yeast overgrowth. So here is a, a summary of the, some of the tests that were done in vitro to show the benefits of a fitrium on the three skin barriers. So. Uh, Tests performed on the mechanical skin barrier showed beneficial effects on ceramides, tight cell junctions, natural moisturising factor and reducing transepidermal water loss. The image shown um, above has nicely demonstrates the fitrium's beneficial effects on that mechanical barrier. So uh, when uh, there's a stressed skin model. Uh, you can see that the specific dye called Lucifer Yellow is able to penetrate further through more layers of skin. But when you add a fitrium to that stressed skin model, that dye is then contained once again back in the top layer of skin. In terms of the microbiological skin barrier, it was found that a fitrium limits the adhesion of bacteria and also reduces biofilm formation. So this makes the skin less susceptible, susceptible to bacterial overgrowth. This can be quite, see, quite clearly seen in the image in the middle where uh, staph pseudointermedius was added to a stressed skin model and then when you add a fitrium the number of bacteria uh, on that model markedly reduces. Lastly they looked at the effects of a fitrium on the immunological skin barrier and what was found was that when a fitrium is added to a stressed skin model it was able to restore the expression of pro-inflammatory markers and cytokines back to normal levels showing a fitrium's, uh, a fitrium's uh, soothing effects. 
numerous field trials and case studies have been done. Sadly, it's outside the, the scope uh, of this particular talk to go through all of them. But if you check out the link in the comments section at the end of this uh, presentation, um, you'll be able to find much more detailed information on the in vivo tests that were done. So the range is easy to navigate and suitable for a wide range of skin complaints. It's really important when using uh, a dermatopical that the correct active ingredient is present for the condition that, that's presenting. So Duxo S3 uh, Calm or the Pink Bottle is for cats and dogs with itchy, irritated or sensitive skin. This contains the highest concentration of ephytrium for added soothing effects. And the range comes as a shampoo, mousse and pads. Then we've got the Duxo S3 Pyre range, which is the orange bottle. This contains ephytrium, but also 3% chlorhexidine, which has antibacterial and antifungal action. This is for uh, cats and dogs that uh, have uh, bacterial or yeast overgrowth on their skin. And the range comes as shampoo, mousse and pads. Then we've got the Duxo S3 Seb range, which is uh, also contains a fiction, but has something called Seb Alliance in it, which is a natural extract from pomegranate peel. This is able to restore uh, the keratinization process back to normal. Um, so it's particularly useful for those uh, dogs and cats that have greasy or dandruffy fur. Lastly, there's the Care range or the, the Blue Bottle, and this is a gen, general, gentle, everyday shampoo for cats, dogs and puppies, and it only comes as a shampoo, this one. The entire range contains no controversial ingredients or additives such as soaps, parabens, sulfates or phthalates, and the cocoa vanilla fragrance is hypoallergenic. Duxo S3 products are pH adjusted to, uh, to promote a rich and diverse microbiota and to keep the skin as healthy as possible. 97% of owners love the texture and, texture and smell of, uh, of our Duxo S3 products, even in the presence of chlorhexidine, which can have quite a medicated smell. Even the new packaging has been designed with, with the owner and clients in mind. Uh, they had a choice of uh, nine different bottles and the one shown here is the one that they chose. Thank you very much for listening. I really hope you enjoyed this presentation. Um, be sure to check out our website at duxo.com and the Journey So Far document has really detailed uh, information on the product development um, and that's linked in the comment section below. Remember to check out all the other videos on this channel uh, which are posted every Thursday with veterinary and business related content. If you like this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends.